Hello everyone and welcome to New Horizon 5 Seasonal Summary episode. The new season 20 and summer have arrived, so let's see how to quickly complete them and if this helps, remember to like and subscribe for more, your support is much appreciated. Thanks. First things first, the easy events. Starting with the weekly Fozoton challenge, where we'll get to drive the 2013 Aerial Atom. Once you've driven it a bit, you'll have to earn 6 stars through speed traps for the second chapter. One of the easiest speed traps in the game is this one. So just go through it twice for 3 stars each. With that done, for the third chapter, all you have to do is stand still and take a picture of your Ariel. As for the fourth, win a road racing event. Which can be a standard event on the map or an event lab. Quick one like this one. With that done in roughly 3 minutes, it's time for the Forza Town Shop, which doesn't bring anything new if you've played since the start. Well, from the Super 7 of this week, you will only get a Super Wheel Spin. Onwards with the boring events is the Photo Challenge, so switch to an 812 Super Fast Ferrari, fast travel near Buenas Vistas, and take a random picture with it in sight. Treasure hunt next, it's time to jump into a hypercar, so you have plenty to choose from, and go down the highway to earn some near misses. Once you've earned 5, the treasure chest location is revealed here, so just wreck it for some more points. Only 2 minutes left for Horizon Arcade, so let's wait for one to start. I still stick with the drift one as it's the easiest available. For easier completion, switch to a Formula Drift car, which I recommend for any drift zone as well. Complete the 3 chapters it has in the 10 minutes and you'll get it gold. Horizon Arcade Next, for some more boring events and easy ones, are the 2 event labs that you must win in solo mode, so you cannot lose. It ain't that bad and actually the first one kind of reminds me of the industrial area of Most Wanted. And that's kind of it for some more easy quick point. Next are the two monthly rivals events where all you have to do is post a clean lap for track time, so that means no crashing and no rewinds are allowed. One of them is in the new Lamborghini that has some insane grip, while the other is in the Mission R prototype car. For the Horizon Open, earn 10 speed skills in any event, so just start it from here and you can even earn the 10 speed skills while in free roam waiting for a race to start. So basically after you have loaded in the lobby of a Horizon Open. So basically in this state. Next, it's time to set up the convoy and wait for everyone to join. And with that setup, let's start the trial in B700 Hot Hatch. Where one or two drive avatars might be a headache, but all the rest are quite easy to pass. And goes for the second race. Not great, not terrible. Next, it's the first championship ahead of the Corvette in 800 Corvette from 2002. Where if you're careful enough, even with an untuned car while all the drive cars are tuned, you'll still manage to beat them. Unless the game decides to put them ahead. Next, it's S900 Rally Monsters in Hiding in Plain Fright. This was quite fun in the RS200 and where some of the guys tried to take my title of car keeper. But I guess there can only be one. Eventually I'll take my title back, but until then it's Subaru Boogaloo in B700 Subaru over Rally Adventure. Well, I'd say any Subaru will do just fine too. Just don't mess up with the NPCs. Keep an eye on your transmission, Jack. With all that dust out of the way, let's switch to Hyper Performance. In S2 Hypercars, down the Hot Wheels track. Where 
actually managed to do one of my best wall rides I ever did. Sorry about that Iron Man, told you it was unintentional. All you need for this track will be a fast car with lots of top speed. That eventually doesn't start bumping from wall to wall. With all that done, all that's left are the PR suns, starting with the drift zone in Hot Wheels. We I recommend you start from the top and you'll probably use a formula drift car for an easy completion. It should bring you plenty of points even with automatic transmission, otherwise switch to manual and only use third or fourth gear all the way down. Then it's Rally Adventure Speed Trap, which I thought will be difficult. All you need is a good go through the forest, right straight towards the speed trap. For new personal best. Then fast traveling to Mexico, it's 450 meters danger sign in any S2, which will be kind of difficult, and you'll need plenty of ray winds. First things first, try to avoid the only tree that you could hit. Rewind, rewind and rewind some more until you get your best track. And once you do along with a bunch of other people, you should go way above the required target in the muffler. Then is this speed zone here that can be done easily with bat to the bone or to the bladers that was actually a music track. AMG1 as well as the CLK GTR. Just make sure you're in track mode and cut some corners here and there. Turn around, And lastly, it's the speed trap of Swamplands. Where going from the top will do, but I recommend starting from the bottom in the swamp. As from the bottom, or say from the top, you really need your best pass by you can get. Now from the bottom swamp you can start from right here and plant yourself on the side of the house. With some bugs here and there. And with that, we sum up the summer of the new series 20 seasonal playlist. Thanks to everyone that managed to join tonight, it has been a pleasure as always. If this helps, make sure to like and subscribe for more, your support is much appreciated. Thanks. See you on Thursday Friday with the next completion summary. For Atom, along with its new additions to the game. But until then, thanks for watching and have fun racing.